Hey, welcome back to another video. This is King Rancher 13. Today, we got a couple things going on. Well, not a couple things. I've got a whole lot of stuff going on. I just got back from hunting in the stand, and now I've got, let's see, one, two. I've got about three trucks to, to get out today. Um, this one's a 17 uh, 250 Lariat, and then I've got a uh, F550. It's a 2016. And y'all probably wondering uh, about the hat. Hopefully, y'all like it. Um, I've only got three of them and we're gonna be doing like a special giveaway just for those um, or like a drawing or entry or something like that. So y'all stay tuned for that. So if y'all aren't already, make sure to like and follow our Facebook business page, Outdoor Trucks, and follow us on Instagram on King Rancher 13 and Outdoor.Trucks. With that being said, um, y'all are awesome. Thank you all so much for the support. Man, everything that y'all are commenting and liking and hitting that thumbs up button, uh, is helping out a ton. Uh, hopefully I'm able to get to, I don't know, maybe 10,000 subscribers, maybe, I don't know, maybe here in the next couple months. I think I'm at like almost 2,000 now, like 1,800 or so. So, you know, we've, we've been growing a little bit, baby steps. I'm just trying to do the best with all I've got and what, with what I've got. Uh, so hopefully y'all are enjoying it. I'm really having a great time. Uh, I've been trying to upload more here recently so that y'all have some more stuff to watch. Um, let me know down in the comments below uh, what y'all think I should, I don't know, do to mine. Mine, where's mine? There it is. So let me know what I should do with mine. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll be lifting it hopefully here in the next couple weeks or so. I've, I've been so busy, like I said, working on uh, all these customers' trucks and stuff, so man. I, if I if I could have, I would have done it, but I just hadn't had the time quite yet. Hey, oh, having the carport's been really nice. Yeah, I guess as y'all have seen in the last video, uh, we, we've got an L5P now, so if y'all didn't see that already. Also, real quick, so Josh had to use my truck because uh, the lug nuts on his truck, um, on his, oh, actually, I think it was on his driver's side. No, it might have been passenger side. Uh, the studs broke off on him, and so he was pulling a camper for uh, Colin, and it was somewhere in the middle of South Louisiana somewhere. So thankfully, I didn't have my truck, and uh, Pastor was able to drive my truck to Josh, and then they swapped trucks, used this to pull it the rest of the way down to um, over near Houston or something. Anyways, while Josh was down there, they were at... Uh, I don't even know what store they were at, but he sent me a Snapchat with uh, some Carhartt overalls, and I was like, "Bro, give me one. I'll I'll pay you back." And uh, and Josh came back and he got me one, and he told me uh, I could just have it. And so, I'm gonna be using this today. So huge shout out to Josh. And also, I've also gotten some fan mail. Um, so huge shout out to Lifestyle Consulting. Um, here, let me flip the camera around and show y'all. Lifestyle Consulting. Uh, they sent me. Uh, Mr. Rick Hoop, he sent me some merch, so I appreciate you sending that over to us. I'll, I'll try to wear that in uh, one of our future videos. So if y'all ever want to have uh, something sent in to us that we can use in our videos, feel free to uh, message us or just give us a call or email, um, and I'll send you our P.O. box so that you can send in whatever you want to showcase or parts or merch or anything like that i love getting fan mail i've gotten some other fan mail i just hadn't had time to put them out on the channel and stuff like that so uh, like i said huge thanks to rick thank you so much all right just got done on the red 2017 250 so i don't know if i talked about what we're really doing in this video today but it is putting these 37s on hmm i wonder what these are going on Thank you. I have to peep the license plate. I think we're being in some trouble. 
came by to my buddy's flip house. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, that changes the whole look of the house. Uh, it looks down. about like a hundred years more modern. <laughs> Yeah, when Alrighty, so we got the 37s loaded on the back. Ooh, I'm kind of afraid of how it's gonna fit. I know the front, oh man. This will be close. Either way, I'm doing it for the tube. I'm doing it for y'all. Just full on sending it. All right, y'all, so we just got done hunting. Well, I just got done hunting and didn't see really anything to shoot, so um, heading back to the house and off to work, but brought the truck out here. Now, that's daylight. You can see it a little bit better, but man, it looks, looks pretty darn good, I think. So these are 37, 1350s. Plenty of space in the back. The front, showed y'all earlier. So, I mean, it it really doesn't, if you're on even ground, I'd say it doesn't hit anywhere. But um, when you do turn this liner in there at the bottom, right about here, let's see if it focuses. Right there, along that, sometimes it'll rub there. But other than that, I mean, it, it's pretty good. I, I was thinking about putting a leveling kit on it this week, but with everything going on, I don't think I have time to. But, I mean, it works for now. I think it has, like, the perfect amount of stance there. You know, the fender line, I mean, just, I'd say on the front, it sticks out maybe half an inch. On the rear, you can kind of see there. On the rear, I'd say about maybe three quarters of an inch. Got our outdoor trucks license plate on there. But yeah, she looks mean. Let me start her up. Well, I'm going to head home now, um, but thanks for watching this video, 37s, 1350, 20 on factory setup, no level, no lift or anything like that, uh, no wheel spacers, so I mean, I'd say, I mean, if you're not really doing any crazy off-roading or anything like that, you're going to be fine, but uh, 
you know, probably, I, I measured it, I think it's about an inch and a quarter lower in the front than is the rear, so a two inch level would make it barely squat some, and then it'll squat if, you know, you got a side by side. Oh yeah, here, I didn't, I don't even know if I ever showed y'all that. But it's like a camera instead of a mirror. You can flip it, so that's a mirror. But then, yeah, it's pretty neat. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna leave it stock for now. When I get back from my trip and stuff, I'll uh, definitely put on a leveling kit of some sort. I mean, this'll do. And now I've got two 2020s with 37 mud grabs stock. Pretty cool. Maybe maybe it'll be a new thing. I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna be lifting the. King Ranch here soon. It's just a finding time to actually do it, which is very hard for me, unfortunately. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below of what y'all think. Should I do a lift on this? Should I just level it? Let me know what y'all think I should do. All right, take care guys, bye.